you want to build that retirement nest egg for your railroad retirement, learn how you're going to pay those taxes. Welcome, everyone, to another edition of the Highball Advisors Railroad Retirement Whiteboard. My name is John Maxmeyer of Highball Advisors, and today we're going to talk about uh, uh, doing Roth conversions to help build up that uh, nest egg for railroad retirement. So um, this is one of my favorite tax planning techniques is taking that money that you've had deferred, been piling up in a 401k, you probably rolled it over to an IRA because you've left the railroad, all right, and then moving that into a tax-free so that can always grow tax-free after that. Right, really powerful. So I'm going to just walk through uh, the Roth conversion itself, and then I'll get into the mechanics of, uh, of the best way to pay the taxes on it. Right. So you have a traditional IRA, which is tax deferred. Okay. So that's money that the government wants when it's tax deferred. Right. You still owe the taxes on it. So let's just say if you had a, for easy sake of argument, let's say you had a million dollars in an IRA, and you have a 30% uh, tax rate. You really only have seven hundred thousand dollars, right? The government is due the rather three hundred thousand dollars, okay? And you want to what you want to do is then convert uh, some of that to a tax-free Roth IRA, right? The Roth IRA pay that tax once and it's gone. So just really the upside, all the funds in the Roth are tax-free. That's what's so great about it, okay? As long as you've had it in there for five years and are over fifty-nine and a half. Then you can just take it out anytime you want and you know you use it for so many things big purchases uh you know medical bills legacy another great one all right the downside is you got to pay the income tax and that's what we're going to talk about here today you got to pay the income tax on the conversion amount right but it's only that one time so how are you going to pay that tax that's what we'll talk about here today so let's give an example um you have a $50,000 conversion amount, right? So maybe you have an IRA and you have, uh, we'll say, a half a million dollars in it, but you're only going to do a conversion of $50,000. And I'll talk about Roth conversion in another uh, uh, video. But for this, we're just learning about how to pay the taxes. So you're in the 22% bracket and you're going to do a $50,000 Roth conversion. So what you have to do is pay $11,000 in taxes, right? That's 22%. So how you pay that? The best way to pay, the most tax efficient way is from your non-qualified accounts, right? Like a brokerage account that you might have money already in it or a bank account, okay? Bank accounts are probably the best. You know, hey, I have some extra cash around. Maybe I have a CD coming due, all right? I'll time my conversion around that and use that money, okay? So Because what's nice about that is you pay the $11,000, right, out of your uh, checkbook or uh, CD, and then you have fifty thousand dollars tax free into your Roth. Okay, and that's just going to grow tax free, and you can take it out tax free. So that's that's the best way to do pay the tax bill. Okay, another good way that shouldn't hinder you from doing the Roth uh, conversion is you could take it right from the IRA. Right, I got eleven thousand dollars. I'm going to do a fifty thousand dollar conversion amount. I got to pay the eleven thousand dollars in taxes. Okay, so now I'm only going to have $39,000 in the uh, Roth. So I'm not going to have as much money growing tax free, right? Tax free is always the best as it continues to grow. You want as much money in there as you can. So that's still a good way to do it. Shouldn't hinder you. Uh, this is the best. Now, what you want to avoid um, is doing a Roth conversion from the IRA pre 59.5 because you're going to have a 10% uh, early withdrawal penalty on that. So you, instead of 39000 you do another 10%. That's a $34,000 uh, $34, is all you're going to have in the Roth there. So uh, that's the $16,000 to do that. So that 10% early withdrawal penalty. So you have the best. This is good. And avoid this methodology. Um, I'm still a big fan of Roth conversions, especially if you have a down year of income. But uh, just to, don't do it from your, uh, this is for your pre-59 and a half people. Uh, bef um, don't do it from your IRA because that 10% early withdrawal penalty is going to hurt you. So anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. Reach out to me. Go through my boarding for railroad retirement process. Tax planning is a big part of the retirement. So if you're at or near retirement, really sign up for that. You'll, you know, it's, it's very much uh, worthwhile in your best interests. Um, Click on the notification bell to get the latest video. Please subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate it. Closing in on 10,000, so I'd like to get that by the end of the year. 
And until next time, everyone, please stay safe, stay on track, and take care. So long, everybody. Bye.